Hi, Cancer. I'm here to do a reading for you. This reading is just going to focus on what you need to know at this time. Please be aware that the messages may or may not resonate with your situation. So only take the messages if they resonate, okay? Cancer. So let's see. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Ancestors. What does Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus need to know at this time? <clears throat> cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So let's see here. All right, Cancer, we have here a potion. Remember to practice self-love. And then it, up here it says, on her shirt it says, Basic Witch. And she's like <clears throat> mixing herbs in a pot here. I think this picture is so damn cute. Okay. You may like to wear hats. Okay. You may have like pink bed sheets. You may like baby pink or, you know, that pastel pink color. But I'm going to go ahead and read Potion for you. You could be 24 years old or your birthday could be on the 24th of May. Would that be? No, that wouldn't be Cancer. That would be Gemini. So, it would be on the 24th of June. Your birthday could be on the 24th of June. <clears throat> Don't quote me, y'all. I'm still learning. Okay, so it says, You're familiar with the concepts of self-love and self-care, but either you never actively practice them or there's something you've fallen behind on. Either way, you should get back on track. Keep yourself maintained and always big or small. That can mean calling it quits to take a luxurious bath instead, or that can mean putting on a rose water face mask and getting out your planner so you can sort out your life because before it gets too out of control. So I feel like, have you been slacking cancer, slacking on your self care, slacking on, you know, just the everyday things that you need to handle? Okay, so I feel like the Holy Spirit is telling you to get back on track. Or this is something that you've been doing. Like maybe you notice, okay, I've been slacking. So let me get back on track here. It's, it's important for you to take care of yourself. You may have a lot of responsibilities, a lot of obligations, and it's just getting overwhelming. But Cancer, you, you're going to be able to handle this. So no worries. But we have here the Ace of Swords <clears throat> and the Seven of Swords. So I feel like you seeing the truth about some lying, sneaky, conniving type of something here with the seven of swords. Oh, we got the ace of cups. So we have two aces here. I'm hearing, what is love? Baby, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me no more. So maybe you find the truth out about a love or something like that. What is this ace of swords, seven of swords, ace of cups? Yeah, we have here the Six of Pentacles and the Eight of Wands. I feel like somebody is was breadcrumbing you. And I feel like some type of communication came in to let you know this. Okay. Let me see here. Oh, you could be dealing with the... Ooh. I'm talking about you could be dealing with the... Ooh, y'all don't mind me. Okay, because you could be dealing with the air sign. There's a lot of swords here. Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Or a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I just feel like somebody is watching you here. Or someone could be gossiping about you. Please excuse any background. It's an annoying like buzz in the background. I just don't know where the hell is coming from. It's so annoying. I think it might be my neighbors. Y'all. I'm going to have to clarify this. I feel like somebody, you found out somebody betrayed you though, Cancer. Maybe somebody was giving to two people. Or you found out somebody was giving some, somebody more than you. Because you see how she giving this present to one person. And she just like the other girl like, okay, where my gift? It's like somebody is focused on this one thing. This could be you, though. And maybe you found this out. Let's clarify here. 
So let's see, Holy Spirit, what is this Ace of Swords for Cancer? See, my days are cold without you, but I'm hurting while I'm with you. And when my heart can't take no more, I keep on running back to you. So that song could resonate with you. That song, what's it called? Foolish by Ashanti. We have your divine being at the bottom of the deck. But what is this Ace of Swords? Oh my goodness. We have your jealous. Okay, so someone here could be jealous. Yeah, we have here celebrity prayers, answer, and self-love. So this could be someone else here that's upset that you're in this energy. If this, or it could be you. Take it how it resonate, Cancer. But somebody here is being celebrated. Yeah. You can watch it after the Logan video go off, okay? Tell him I said you can watch it. I watch it. After his video go off, okay? Tell him to turn the sound for you. Okay. Bye, baby. I didn't ask you to do anything. Go ahead downstairs so I can finish my reading, baby. Okay, so what was I saying, Cancer? Yeah, I feel like you're being celebrated. Your prayers are being answered. We have your self-love. So like I said, this could be somebody who, if this is not you doing this, I'm jealous. This is somebody else around you that is in this jealous energy because you love yourself here. Then maybe they slap, slacking on their self-love and they don't take care of themselves like you do, Cancer. Because maybe you keep yourself up. You you know, you do what you need to do. And I feel like somebody here is just jealous about that. What is this seven of swords here? Well, we have here desperate and big mad. What is this desperate and big mad? We got here secret enemies and God's love. I'm, listen, somebody is very upset because you're in love. You see how this lady focused on this girl? This could be you. And this could be that this other person here that's jealous and desperate and is a secret enemy. Maybe this could be, I don't know, at work or what is this six of pentacles? We have here a hidden lover. So this could be a lover or maybe somebody is mad because of the way somebody else loves you here. Tell me more. We have here family. We have here competition. So this is what I'm getting here, Cancer. There is somebody in your family that is jealous about how somebody else loves you and takes care of you. This person is a secret enemy. They had in the fact that they feel this way. And this could be somebody in your family. What is this, Ada Mons? But I feel like you're going to find out. Yeah, you're a light worker. You're blessed. And I feel like you get a lot of attention cancer and it's somebody here is secretly jealous of all the attention you get and that's what i probably name a reading let me write that down cancer before i forget <laughs> jealous of all the attention you get and i feel like it could be not only the way that your lover loves you if you're in a relationship, but it could just be other people. I just feel like you get a lot of attention. You get a lot of love here, Cancer. And I feel like this person, uh, they feel a ways. So let's get some advice. Every time, you know what, and I feel like a lot of people who watch, you know, spiritual readings are usually light workers. They are usually... You know, just a ball of high vibration. If, if, if this resonates with you and you're on the side of the person who's not jealous. Because it could you could be jealous, Cancer, and you could be the one that's jealous of somebody. But I feel like this is somebody jealous of you. Because you are just a big ball of high vibration and everything goes attracted to you. 
People are attracted to you. Money, love, opportunities. Your partner is so very attracted to you. They take such good care of you. You could be an empath here. So you're loving, you're caring. You welcome everyone. And I feel like somebody does not like it. But I feel like they're not showing it. They're hiding it. This is somebody that's around you. Like I said, this could be a family member. Or somebody that you consider family. So just be careful, Cancer. Let's see here. What advice do you have for Cancer, Holy Spirit? <clears throat> Wait a minute, baby. I'm almost done. I'm about to take a break after this and get it, okay? Okay, give me a second. So let's see here. Yeah, come get them. We have here winter. So let's see here. This person birthday could be during the winter or something. Maybe you met this person during the winter. If this is not a family member, but this could be a family member here. I'm getting that. So let's see here, number 37. It says major storms are on the horizon. Don't get caught out in adverse weather conditions. So it could be snowing where you at. <laughs> It says, don't spend your heart, don't spend your time or hard earned reserves chasing something new, or it will feel like you're walking in waist deep snow. Be like the eagle soaring above, seeing and considering new ideas, but not making any new commitments. Winter could be here for a few weeks or several months yet. It's time to eat from your harvest and enjoy time with loved ones. Spring is the time for new adventures. And there's an affirmation. I am enjoying the fruits of my labor and doing the things I love. Yes, I feel like you're really doing the things that you love at this time and just enjoying time with yourself, with family, with friends. But there could be a family member, okay, a loved one that is jealous of you, jealous of the attention that you get. So just watch it. If you feel intuitively that you know who this person is, just try to... I would say keep your distance, to be honest, because ain't nothing worse than a jealous person that's close to you that's trying to hide their jealousy. That's the worst. Like somebody that's, tr that's showing you that they're jealous, that's better. But this person is somebody that's hidden. So just be careful. Okay, Cancel. Let's see. So I've got a new deck, y'all. It's called Angels of Abundance. And I'm just going to get an angel card for you to end this reading. So let's just see. So we have here partnership. Allow healthful, supportive partnerships into your personal life and career. And both parties benefit as a result. You are receiving help from heaven and from a person who brings needed skills and resources. Yeah, you could be having um, a new partnership in your life. Or finding a new um, partnership. And let me tell y'all something. That's under here. Cooperation instead of competition. I feel like I need to read this. It says, what's yours is yours. And no one can take it from you. There's no need to compete. As there's an abundance for all. You have complete access to unlimited abundance. For yourself and to share with others. With cooperative partnerships, you can accomplish anything. So... Like I said, there could be somebody that you're in partnership with right now that is actually in competition with you, or this could be you. But either way, Cancer, just know that there's no need to compete. There is enough abundance for all, okay? So, I'm getting you. Also, you can't compete where you don't compare, so this person can't compete with you because they don't even compare, Cancer. But anyway... <laughs> yeah, so I really hope that these readings and these messages help you. If they did, please like, share, and subscribe. Okay, Cancer? I love you. Bye.